welcome to today's video. On the video today, we're focusing on a haircut for super thick hair. So, so if you have a client out there or you're a person with super thick hair, this is a great haircut for you to try in the salon. There's about five different things packed into this haircut that I think are gonna be useful. The first thing's gonna be how to cut a fringe or a side bang on thick hair. The second one is cutting a face frame, being able to put that and incorporate that into it. The third thing is cutting concave layering to be able to remove that weight. The fourth thing is I'm gonna share with you guys some products that are great for thick hair. And then the last thing, we're gonna do some dry cutting. I'm gonna show you guys some tease cutting on the top of the head to really pull this whole technique together. So stay tuned for that. That. Now you guys know that free salon education is free because we have great sponsors. So I want to share with you guys a new sponsor that we have on the channel and that is a company called Sideline. Now Sideline is an app on your phone. It's right here. So you guys might be thinking why is Sideline a sponsor of this channel? This industry is exploding with studio rental and a lot of people don't want to use their own phone number. I know I would not want to. So with Sideline, all you have to do is download the app, you sign up, it takes two seconds, it's $9.99 per month and you get a second phone number dedicated to your business, its own voicemail, its own messages, you can text from it. There's so many different options available for this. So what I did is I went out, I made my own Sideline phone number, the number is 845-ASK-FREE, 845-ASK-FREE. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to call that number and I want you to request any haircut or any advice you want and I'm gonna start creating videos off of those voicemails. So remember, again, that's 845-ASK-FREE. So if you guys want to try out Sideline, there's a seven-day free trial. And then again, after that, it's only $9.99 per month. Click the link in the description below. You have to click that link. Go get yourself a Sideline phone number. Really appreciate it. Let's get started with the video. Here we go. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to focus on creating a face frame for super thick hair. So what I like to do is I like to take out the crown of the head. I even go a little bit deeper, about two inches away from the front forehead uh, area or the fringe area, you could say. Uh, and I create that circle around the crown. Now, that circle is going to be cut dry later. So all of the interior work on this haircut is going to happen first wet, and then we're going to go through and cut the top dry. So starting off, I this uh, guest in particular has a left-hand side parting. So um, we're going to work off of that. So I bring everything straight up over the parting. And now, notice my elevation, and this is why I say that this is for thick hair. My elevation is directly at 90 degrees off the front of the head shape. Now, the reason for that is that's going to create layering. And the reason I want to create layering is because I want to take out some of the density within the shape. So the shape is how the weight is kind of traveling around the head horizontally. And then um, your density is how the weight is moving vertically on the head shape. So do I want the, the heaviness to sit down at the bottom? Do I want to remove some of it? Do I want to pull it to the top? So in this cut in particular, I'm holding everything at that 90 degree point to remove um, a nice amount of weight, but also continue that shape kind of coming off the face. So uh, working with a stationary guide, I'm pulling everything over the part. What that's going to do is it's going to push that weight over to the ear on that side of the head. So that's kind of my goal within this cut. Use the elevation to remove the weight and then over direct it over the part to push that weight to the back of the head. Then we're going to go through and we're going to do a technique in the back of the head to kind of control that weight. So you take everything section by section when you're working in a haircut. Now notice my elevation here. The head shape is shifting. So as I get across that parietal ridge area uh, where the head starts to dip down towards the ear, I drop my elevation a little bit. Because the head shape is changing, I don't want to keep my elevation up. A lot of people end up with a nice little hole um, in that part of the haircut. And I think that's because they keep their elevation exactly the same as they go through the top. And the head shape isn't the same, so you can't think about um, just keeping that stationary guide in that same spot. Now we're working on the weak side. This is the, the lighter side of the haircut. Notice my elevation is not up in the air. The reason I do this is because I'm trying to keep a balanced appearance. So I connect the links um, by using a guideline from the other side, but I go through the side and I keep my elevation low to keep that density, keep the weight within the haircut. Now we're gonna move center back uh, vertical sections, and I'm just going to create some concave layering in the back. That's also a great technique for thick hair um, when you're trying to remove weight. So notice the length is sitting at the very bottom of my finger. Um, so I elevate the hair up, 
and I um, use that length as my guideline and I just keep cutting the hair. I'm working my way. This is going to be a traveling guide now um, because I want to keep the layering seamless all the way around and I'm not trying to push weight behind the ear at this point. I want to keep everything nice and following the round of the head. So I take a little bit of my old hair, uh, pass it over, and then I grab um, some new hair and pull it to the guide. Um, so I'm slightly pulling it maybe half of an inch over. Uh, you don't want to pull your uh, hair too far over. You don't want to take too thick of sections. People just tend to grab a ton of hair and bring it over. What that does, you're creating too much over direction. Um, and then what that's going to do in turn, you're going to lose your guide or you're going to push too much weight to one side. So if you're trying to stay consistent, make sure you stay consistent with those sections as well. Uh, I've said this a million times, but what separates good hair cutters and great hair cutters is their ability to comb the hair and uh, like it was brought to my attention uh, earlier in the week, it's also where you pull the hair too, right? So um, elevate the hair, put it where you want it. You start with your guide in the back. The other thing I want you to notice at the end of this section is that I'm pulling everything. It's, it's a traveling guide, but once I get behind the ear, everything comes straight back creating a more of a square shape in the back um, that's going to give me that seamless kind of nice base that I'm looking for in this cut. You can see how nice and seamless those layers fall. Now we're going to remove that top section and we're going to work on that. We're also going to start our blow dry. We're going to use the Joyco Blonde Life Brightening Veil. This is a UV and thermal defense multitasker. Um, it basically shields the hair from UV damage, thermal damage, any kind of damage you can think of for the hair. Put this in and you're going to be safe from that. And then also the Joyco Blonde Life Brilliant Glow Brightening Oil. Uh, it's all about keeping the blondes bright but also keeping the shine. You can see how much shine is coming off of that hair as I blow it dry. Nice lightweight oil. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, check it out. Um, we'll put the link in the um, description below. All right, so we're gonna finish off. I'm just doing a nice pass with the iron. So here's the reason I, I wanna iron it first. I'm gonna show you two different styles. People like to see it straight. People like to see it have a little bit of wave to it. Um, for this, I wanna do the dry cutting with it more in a straight form. So I pull the hair forward. I'm gonna use a tease cutting technique you guys have seen me do in the past. This is the motion that you're gonna make. So a, a slight close as you pass through the hair. So as I push into the hair, I slightly close the scissor. Um, it just removes a nice soft amount of weight in the hair and gives a nice little bit of texture to it as well. So it's just better than going in and point cutting for me uh, in this case because it just gives a really broken soft line. Uh, barely a line at all, to be honest, which is my favorite part. So you can see all that texture pop from doing that uh, face frame technique, but also uh, going through and doing the tease cutting technique. Now we're gonna finish it off with the Joyco uh, Joy Mist Firm Finishing Spray. Uh, that just gives me a nice hold to keep that face frame in place. And now I'm going to go through and show you the second style, which is using a wand iron. Um, nice big size iron. I'm not, actually not sure exactly what size it is, but I just go through and I curl everything towards the face on both sides. That's just gonna give me that texture. And I like to leave the ends just a little bit straighter. I feel it gives it a little more of a modern feel uh, to the haircut and it really brings out that texture. So you can see as I push it over, a uh, ton of texture busting out of this. Um, now I'm gonna use the Joyco Body Shake. This is one of the newer products. Tons of texture, smells like the beach, uh, a good beach, <laughs> like coconuts on the beach. Uh, so I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching.